Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we are dealing with staff tool strategies once again. We're going to look specifically at the bracket and braces in Finale and what can and cannot be done with them. Uh, there's not a whole lot in some instances, but I'll show you exactly what's going on here. We're going to go into the staff tool. And with all of these brackets, you know, as I mentioned uh, several times before, they have these little handles. Those handles can also be moved. So if I actually grab this bottom handle here for this uh, bracket, I can move that handle up and down, extend it or unextend it. And you can see that I can also move it left or right if I need to. Um, when you're doing this, I always recommend using the shift key. We could do that with the top here too, because that will constrain the dragging in one direction. Uh, whichever way you move your mouse first, it will go that way and then not allow you to go the other way. Uh, so I always recommend that. And once you have these brackets moved around, we can always reset them. Just right click and choose the remove manual adjustments option and that will reset everything back to normal, uh, both sides of it, by the way. And that's really all there is. There's nothing else we can do. We can't extend the wings or anything. It is. It does get sometimes problematic, particularly with the uh, sub brackets. These sub brackets, I'm just going to move one out all, all the way over here just to show you. The horizontal lines here, the little hooks, those are set. There's, there's no way to adjust the length of those, which can cause problems if you have a sub sub bracket. Uh, because this sub sub bracket would have to come left from where this position is even further. And when you start to do that, the uh, the end of the hook will never actually connect with the staff line, which is incorrect. That's These uh, sub brackets are supposed to connect with that staff line. So uh, it's an unfortunate little limitation that um, I, I know it's a minor detail, but we can't actually uh, fix that in Finale. The one thing I did discover in my research here is that if you happen to change the thickness of the staff lines, then the thickness of these horizontal lines will change to match, which is uh, strange, but uh, it makes sense because you want it to match precisely with the staff lines. But again, you know, that's it as far as the brackets are concerned. There's four brackets here, the straight line, the straight hooked uh, bracket, the curved hook brackets, and the uh, sub bracket here, which is sort of the the, uh, the square bracket. All four of these cannot be designed in any other way. They are pretty much set in Finale, and you cannot change them in any way. Um, the one bracket that we can change is the, the piano brace, the curved brace there. And we don't do that from within the staff tool. I'm just going to come down here to the piano part so we can see this. We actually do that from the document options in the uh, piano braces and brackets settings. Now it says end brackets, but the, the only setting for the brackets here is the default distance from left edge of staff, which is set to negative 0 0.04167 here. I've talked about this in uh, the first video on, on staff group, so I'll, I'll, I won't talk about this today. But as you can see here in the top of this window, it looks like we have all kinds of options about designing this little squiggly brace for the piano. And uh, these options are pretty exhaustive and complicated and a little bit difficult to understand. So, and also not really necessarily that important. This is like one of those areas where it's like, why did Finale give us so much control over these minute details, but they will not allow us to e extend that um, horizontal line in the sub bracket, uh, which would be more useful. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. And, and this is what we're dealing with. So there's a lot going on here with these uh, numbers here. We have outer tip, inner tip, outer body, inner body, width of brace, center thickness, and tip thickness. So generally speaking, it works a little bit the same way as slurs in Finale, where you have sort of like an outer edge of the slur, and then you have an inner edge of the slur. So if you're thinking about this, uh, this brace here, where it says outer and outer tip and outer body, that's really this left side, just if there's a really tiny thin line going along the outside, um, that's what the outer body and outer tip would trace. The inner tip is the inside of it or the right edge of it. And when you adjust the inner tip, effectively what you're doing is making the, the whole thing thick or thinner. Now this whole thing is symmetrical here, so you will see handles on the top half of it, but just know that whatever you adjust for the tip, the body, and everything, it adjusts not only on the top half, but on the bottom half equally, so it will stay symmetrical. 
Now, when we refer to the tip versus the body, in this case, the tip is sort of like the, the top half of this where, where it kind of comes off to the right and comes to a point. And the body is really the, the uh, you know, from the middle to about uh, halfway into this little area right here. That's sort of the body. So uh, when you talk about the difference between the tip and the body, that's what we're talking about. There's the width of the brace, which is actually the width of the entire brace, and that can be adjusted as well. And the center thickness is just this little area here. I hope you can see what I'm doing drawing with my mouse here, um, where you we can make this a little bit thicker if we want. And the tip thickness really has to do with the very, very edges of the uh, piano braces and how thick those tips are. Very similar to the way that slurs work here. Now, there's a couple ways to manipulate these numbers. We can grab a hold of these handles and watch these numbers move, and you can watch the whole brace um, redesign, and I'll just I'll do that just now. So what I'm grabbing right now, if you can see this, is the outer tip. I hope you can see the horizontal number here and, and the vertical number here uh, will move around as I do this, and you can also see the design of the brace get uh, different here. And you can move these up and down to change the vertical and horizontal. And uh, there's lots of things you can do to uh, adjust sort of the specific look of this brace. Uh, incidentally, whenever you're adjusting things here, you can always press the reset button and it will go back to the way that it was set up uh, initially. Now that's the handle here on the left side, uh, the one right next to it, just to the upper right. This will deal with the, um, the inner tip, which again has to do more with the thickness than anything else. So you can see as I go to the right, I'm actually increasing the thickness. And we can move up and down, which sort of changes where the thickest part of that is. It's, it's a little, you know confusing the way that this works but you can see that you can kind of if you start dragging these handles around you can kind of design this in in certain ways and actually you can create some really ugly looking things eventually um, but uh, so that's what's going on there we have the outer tip the inner tip handles up here these two handles here one is the outer body uh, this sometimes they're hard to see which one you're grabbing but that's what that is that's the outter body and the one below that is the inner body again has more to do with the thickness right so again, it's, you know, if you want to, you can start messing with these handles, moving things around, and get this brace to look exactly as you want it. This middle handle here is actually the thickness, so you can see that it will just kind of <laughs> change the width of that brace left and right if you need to. Again, there's just so much random control over all of this stuff, and, you know, it is what it is. And then as far as the center thickness and tip thicknesses go, there is no handles for these, so these you'd have to change directly. Uh, with numbers here. So if I change this to 3 instead of 0.125, you may have just seen the, the center of it gets just a little bit thicker. And same thing with the tip thickness. If I make this really big, uh, you'll see the, uh, the, the tips get really super wide here, which is awkward. So um, a lot going on here. If you're going to be making changes to this piano brace, for whatever reason you don't like the way Finale designs it, what I recommend is using the numbers here and make very, very minute changes to start. Just figure out like you know, if the tip isn't sharp enough or something, you could change this to 0.015 or something, and that will just barely have an effect on making a sharper tip at the end of the uh, uh, of the piano brace there. Again, it's really hard to see unless you're really zoomed in, if you're really paying attention. So, um, again, so much control over all of these uh, little minute details. But for now, I'm going to go back in here. You're welcome to play with that as you want. I'm just going to reset everything so that we're back to normal. Now, sort of the, the more important problem, I guess you could say, with these piano braces is what happens when you start stretching them up and down because the, the tips of the piano braces will you know, follow wherever the staff lines go. So if I start you know, changing the distance between these staffs, appropriately the, uh, the brace will stretch out, which is exactly what you want to happen, and the, the name will stay centered uh, between the staffs, which is exactly correct. What, what's really an issue is when you start to decrease the size of the space here and you get smaller and smaller, Finale is scaling this uh, brace until it gets to a certain point. And uh, again, you would never do this, but um, as you get smaller and smaller and smaller, you see the, the design of that brace sort of starts to break down and doesn't really look anything like a brace. And in fact, if you change this all the way up to the... Uh, to being overlapped, again, you would never do this. This is the type of brace that you get, which is just, it's not correct. Now, it, you would never do it that way, but there may be a case where, and I'm just going to set this up, 
Uh, if you have decided that for some reason you want to um, hide normally for your piano groups and also you want to show a bracket if the group contains only one staff. So in this case, it would be possible to get this type of piano brace on a single staff. And if I go in here and just hide uh, these measures, hide empty staffs, uh, you'll see that I can get a, a one staff piano part here and it will retain the brace, but again, because that brace is so short, I mean, it's it's not right. I mean, this is this is definitely, you know, not a great feature of Finale in, in the way it handles these uh, braces. Again, this is a very rare instance that you would actually, first of all, hide an empty staff in a piano part, but also that you that you would actually have the uh, the brace on a single staff. It is sometimes done. I will say with organs. So if you're for some reason you need to hide the left hand of an organ, uh, but you want to have the pedal, you need to have that brace there so that you can tell the difference that the you know the right hand is on the the um, uh, on the uh, the keyboards, but the left hand is the pedal. If they were braced together, you wouldn't know that the pedal was the pedal. You would think that it was the left hand of the piano because it has the same clef and everything. So. In some, some rare cases, it is possible to have to have the brace on a single staff. If you ever need to do this, first of all, don't ever, I wouldn't recommend um, choosing this option, show bracket if group contains only one staff for these piano braces. Because of that problem, it just, when you get it down that small, it doesn't look appropriate. The better way to do this is with an expression, and I kind of set one up in this file already in the miscellaneous category. Here it is. I'll just show you what it is. I won't totally go through re uh, redesigning this, but it is a shape. And um, I use this tool over here, which is the, uh, what is that called? The, uh, the bracket tool, which will create a piano brace just like this. As you can see, I did that accidentally. Um, and, uh, and then you have to resize it. And you know the recommendation I always have here is to make sure that you're showing the staff template so that you can see exactly how big it needs to be. Um, yeah, let's just cancel there so that uh, discard changes. Thank you. So we get our, our regular shape back. Um, and then position this in a way where you have it you know, right justified on the left bar line uh, with the staff reference line additional vertical offset to zero. This will put it um, all the way to the left of the staff. And when you assign this to the, I just put it on the pedal staff here just to uh, show you that you can do it on an empty staff, you'll get something that looks a little bit better as far as a uh, piano brace on a single staff. This is not an ideal situation because you'd have to do this on every measure where the, um, the single staff that needs the brace appears at the beginning of the system. So, you know, if, I, you know, if this manual uh, went down to one hand for, you know, seven or eight systems, you'd have to add seven or eight different uh, expressions uh, of this um, squiggly line um, uh, brace here. So, you know, not ideal that these uh, the piano braces don't scale appropriately. It's something that, you know, Finale should really look into and fix at some point. But alas, this is how it works right now. And so that's sort of the solution to it, um, as crummy as it is. So, all right, so there you go. I think that covers it with the brackets and braces. Again, there's not much you can do, but then when there is stuff you can do, it's really complicated and um, almost unnecessary. So <laughs> uh, there it is. Um, and I think that covers it for groups in Finale as well. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, the next video, we're going to start looking at uh, staff names and group names. That will be the next uh, sub-series of videos coming up. So uh, looking forward to that. Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And, you know, I'll see you soon on the next video.